Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's up 40, Nasdaq up 77, S&P's up 18 and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. Don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding sh show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern t Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, the way you get Mastering Probability, you go over to web our website at TFNN, you go to Newsletters, you'll see Mastering Probability, you just hit Subscribe, Mastering probability, you can get mastering probability for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. You can get it for a year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. You get everything to win, zero to lose. Steve Rhodes, let's go. What on? Well, I'm thinking that somehow January 13, 2020, today, it's got to be some kind of lucky day. Oh, sorry about that. Some kind of lucky day for, for you. It, today is all about tigers. Did you know? Today is all about tigers. Tonight, you've got oh, the yeah. Clemson Tigers, right? the LSU Tigers, right? and then, of course, right now, we've got the TFN Tigers. Uh, the that's, best that's of, pretty the wild. The best of all the Tigers. Yeah, right. Oh, my God. Who are we going to root for? Yeah, right. Uh, a Tiger is going to win. That's, and, and that's, there you that's go, man. Important, right? I, I like it. I like it. Totally. So I, I, I didn't get a chance to put together. I, I normally I like to, especially, I like to put together a little bit of a presentation to maximize the use of of this time. Um, but I, I just didn't get a chance to do that. So we'll just kind of, kind of uh, mull around here a little bit, uh, share with you and the folks that are listening uh, what to be watching for. We'll just kind of go from there. But I did hear you talking about Tesla, yes. and you know I hadn't looked at a, a Tesla chart uh, for a while. So I, I, I put that's what. Uh, let me. Let me just uh, put my screen up here so everybody can follow along. So this, folks, is a longer-term chart of Tesla. So I, I imagine you were looking at the daily time frame chart, trying to figure out the A to B equals C. This is a quarter. I'm sorry. This is a monthly time frame chart. Yeah. But the beautiful thing about this chart here, Tom, is that it helps us to be able to teach uh, those folks that are watching and listening in about a consolidation pattern, because Tesla has been in a consolidation since 2014. It's got clear bottom, a clear top, and the beauty of that is that. And I remember, I remember all those years when uh, when I used to be over in Clearwater with you, and we started doing that show together. Yes. And uh, I remember, I remember we were sitting there taking a look at Walmart that had broken out of a like a fifteen yep. or twenty year consolidation right. pattern, right? And so the beauty of these consolidations, folks, is that what it does, it provides us with a measured move. And, uh, and and I'm not sure who developed it. Maybe, Tom, maybe you know who developed it. But we take a look at this consolidation. The measured move means that if you break either above or below the consolidation, yep. then the move should be equal to or greater than that consolidation level. So in the case of Tesla, um, in addition to A to B equals CD patterns, and I heard you talking about the extensions of the C to D leg, from a consolidation standpoint, longer term, because we're looking at a monthly chart, has Tesla moving up to 600 bucks. Now, my chart, it's got priced out at 598.21. We're not going to worry about pennies and, and a few dollars out here, but it does look like it's it's headed up to that area. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, you know, but but it, it is what it is. And uh, I think with uh, I, I just don't know enough about the company, you know, a bunch of hype. I've actually never even driven in a Tesla. Oh, uh, when you drive, when you drive in one, you'll be a believer. Uh, yeah, oh, I, yeah. I, you know what? I haven't driven one, Steve, yeah. but I've been in them twice. Yeah. You were not going to believe how fast they are. I mean, it, and I wasn't in the fast one. I was in the three. The, yeah. These are like these are like rocket chips. And so I know I can speak for myself, but I think I'm speaking for you too. We love fast cars. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, we, we love fast cars. Uh, you know, knock on wood, because I take the alley, alligator alley, fairly often between here yeah. and Naples, you know, and, and you can drive fairly fast there. You can. Um, but uh, so, so and, and I pass a, a number of Teslas. Sure. But when I look at them, the body style just doesn't appeal to me. Yeah. You know, compared to the other sports cars. Right. No, you know, yep. So it, it, if, if I, but it, it's intriguing. 
Um, but uh, you, you know, and, and I, but anyway, as far as a price projection for folks out there, yeah. just just be aware of the of of just a normal pattern, large consolidation, measured move, and it should move up to in about the six hundred dollar. No, I can see that. Uh, I just I just did it's six thirty one. That's pretty amazing, yeah. man. That's. That's freaking intense, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, absolutely, absolutely. So uh -oh. I just thought, you know, while, oh while, while, I was, uh, while I was listening to you, I said, yeah. hey, let me go check out this stock. I Seriously, this stock. I know. I and haven't looked at this stock. What yet. happens, folks, when you have this type of long consolidation, it makes a difference. I mean, that's the building cause, you know, 2014 to 2019 is a big number, man. You know? Yeah. Yeah, and we and, should have really, we should have put on it. We should have, as as uh, as Musk was having all those problems with the SEC and so forth, and it was pushing lower into about the hundred and eighty dollar uh, level back in the middle of uh, last year. All it was doing was going back to the bottom of the consolidation. I know. <laughs> I mean, wow. Yeah. It's like it's kind of like you and I could say, can it really be that easy? Uh, it's uh, sick when it happens. I know. I agree, no doubt. And what you have there, folks? Okay, this will probably be about, be about China. Uh, that's the that's yeah. the bottom line, you know. Yeah, I, I would think know, so. I would he's think pushing I, I, them out, and you know what we have found out is that the other car manufacturers are not Tesla. It's just like an Apple phone. You can there's plenty of phones. Everyone wants an Apple. That's what's going on with Tesla. They the, the, the numbers for these uh, you know other car companies are like they're not even one tenth of Tesla. And I'm talking about our major American companies. Oh, oh sure, sure, no, yeah. no doubt, market cap, all, all yeah. those types of things, yeah. absolutely. And and I, 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 David probably knows for sure, but I understand. And I remember reading an article that that they're doing uh, that that you know there's tax incentives and so forth to push uh, you know Tesla vehicles out uh, or or just simply not electric vehicles. But you know Tesla gets the benefit of that as they as they oh, yeah. move into uh, you know China in a big way. But but talk about things you know is it. Can can it really be that easy, uh, Tom? This is one of the charts. Well, actually, let me show you another chart here that that we've talked about that that I'm continuing to watch, and and that is the cycle chart. Now, I'm not showing when the annual seasonal cycles take place, but okay. uh, they're they're listed here on the chart when the when those highs and lows. And we've talked about this before. So the red, uh, the red, uh, air, uh, the red information is showing you tops. And the green are showing you uh, bottoms. Now they're showing you bottoms and tops in re in regard to when the cycle would typically uh, occur, which at tops is typically around January 6th, May 19th, and July 21st. So last year for 2019, what you'll notice is those tops occurred 22, 19, and four days earlier, and the bottoms which typically form around January 30th, June 25th, and October 13th, they also formed early, 23 days, 16, and 7. Now, the last top that formed inside of the Dow, from a seasonal perspective, took place four days early. Now, as great as the markets have been today, they haven't taken out the highs of Friday. Yes. And Friday's high happens to be four days later. Is it possible that it shifted from four days earlier at the last top? To now four days later. Well, you we'll know, you know what's so we'll cool. Soon. We'll know soon. Yeah. Now I don't know if you heard Larry's show this morning, but listen to this, folks. Larry had numbers on this morning. This was pretty cool. That from the depression, well, the first get go down the stock market crash in 1929 yes. to the highs that were generated on Friday was 28,000 days. The, and then he brought a second one. One's 28,000 days to the number, and the other's 33,000 days as of Friday. <laughs> Isn't that it. great? We were talking. He was talking to even numbers, folks. Listen, folks, come over to our website at TFN. Go to the newsletters. Go to Market and Probability. Test drive it. Great newsletter. Steve, you have a great one. Safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.